What's going on, trainers? Troy back here with episode 43 of 66 Single Spectacular versus fellow Twitter follower and guy with the coolest like Pokemon name I would ever have to think, Bread Jeezy. Um, so I really hope I'm saying that right. A lot of you guys just come out with me weird names, and I really cannot get enough of them. I really like it. Uh, so he hit me up on Twitter. I was actually just about to ask for battles. He's like, "Yo, you want to do a mixed tier battle?" And I'm like, "Sure, okay." So. As you can see, the teams, it cannot get mixed here enough. We got, like, everything. I mean, I never see the Caracosta, the Bravery, and, you know, Steelix, and Beedrill, and Rain Nicholas. Oh my gosh. This, and this was such a good battle. And I really want to see if this battle can get the 35 likes. So, you guys, let's try to make that happen. So, we're going to get it started. I knew I might have had problems with the Bronze on me because it could have been kind of tanky. I didn't know if that was Mega Alkazam or not. Uh, Mega Hound, who said two possible Megas, I guess, and so we're gonna have to see. I go with a safe open on Infernape, and I'm like, okay, let me just see what he's doing. He's got bravery, it's shiny no less. Hashtag freedom. Gotta go for that. He goes for the U turn open. I'm like, well, okay, I, I can see that. And then the, right when I click the Thunder Punch, I was like, you know, he probably switched into Gastrodon. That's exactly what he brings out. He brings out Boomer, which is his Gastrodon. I'm like, well, that's just great. That's not gonna do anything. And since uh, my Jay-Z Infernape is banded, I had to get him out of there, so I said peace out, bring out Ridiculous, and let's see what he could have done, and he goes for a skull, and I'm like, okay, I can take that, no big deal. If I get burned, it doesn't matter either, because I won't take damage, and I still got the lefty, so, you know, just free damage on him, so he's a little bit ahead of me just by that very, very, very little bit. So he switches out, predicting I could have done anything else, but I guess go for a Calm Mind, and he... Or maybe I could have Psychic, that probably would, would have been it. So, I go for the Calm Mind anyway, against the Houndoom, and I'm like, you know what, I'm still a bit worried because the Houndoom completely walls off Ranaculous 100%. I'm like, well, I guess I can't do anything right now, so I'm going to have to bring back uh, Ranaculous and save him in for later. Next Pokemon I bring out is Tyrantor, I'm like, well, this thing's got to be special attack, so um, let's just bring out my special wall. Tyrantor is always giving me... Great, great things. Cannot get enough of him because he is just, just such a beast when it comes to, you know, tanking, like, just taking any kind of special attack. So, Doom 2.0 goes for the Dark Pulse. As you can see, that does a total of seven, six, I don't even, 14 damage? I, I'm trying to do math really quick, but I can't. So, the Mega Houndoom can't do much. So, he brings out Frank, the Caracosta. I was just like, okay, what's this guy got for me? I go for a Stone Edge, not really going to do a whole lot of damage. Then I go for an EQ, I'm like, oh, I guess I'm faster. That's cool. It should be able to kill. It's super effective. Well, I guess not, because it's got the weakness policy too, and then at this point, I'm like, oh, crap. That is not good. As you can see, that is not good at all. And at this, this point, I was like, this is might not go all that well for me. Uh, this could be the game. I, I was literally seeing, you know, anything go out the window. Like, any faith of me winning is out the window right there. So, and then I also learned this thing had Aqua Jet. I'm like, oh, this thing's got Aqua Jet. So, Infernape can't do anything. I didn't have Mach Punch for it. I don't bring Mach Punch on Infernape. I guess I should next time. So, Infernape goes down. Next victim for the uh, Caracosta will be the Steelix. So Steelix, he is a physically defensive wall, but he, I guess he still can't take a waterfall. He lives with 19 health. The left, or the, uh, my weakness policy on the Steelix goes through, but he gets flinched, and I'm just like, wow, I cannot believe that. So, and then I die again, so then, there we go, we're down three to six. The battle just started, and I'm already down half my whole team here, just from one Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. You gotta be kidding me. So now I bring out uh, Ridiculous, and I'm like, okay, can I still do something? I, can, I think I can wall off the waterfall, and we can get somewhere. So I take the waterfall barely, I go for a Psychic, and at this point I'm like, well, Ridiculous, he can stay in there. All he has to do is just, you know, recover, and we can get back into business. So I get the lefties, I get my health out to an okay amount. You know, I'm still worried that, like, he's got most of his team left, like, the, the, the Karakasta went down, but man, he's still got Bravery, he's got Gastron, Houndoom, Bronzong, Alakazam. I'm like, wow. So I know the Bravery had u turn, so I had to get him out of there. Brought in Beedrill, because Beedrill, he could take a Bug-type at attack, because he is a Bug. So yeah, there we go. So we're, we're all good there. So the Bravery goes back to him. Meanwhile, uh, I go uh, in Mega Evolve as uh, Beedrill, because it looks really cool. So I had to keep doing it. 
plus Mega Beedrill is just going to be hitting incredibly hard. So it brings up the Bronzong. Uh, didn't want to risk the Levitate. I had Drill Run, might have killed, but I did want to hit a super effective knockoff, take off his Light Clay. Um, didn't know what that was for, but still. Uh, took off the Light Clay just in case. He goes for a Reflect, and the Reflect ends up helping him because he lives this knockoff just by a sliver of health, and I could not believe it. The Gyro Ball comes in, and I'm like, oh, th I think I'm dead because I am incredibly fast. That thing's incredibly slow. So the Gyro Ball takes me out. So now we're at the, the moment. This is it, guys. Two to five Pokemon. I would say, I guess, four because Bronzot has no health. He goes for the Gyro Ball. Ridiculous lives with, like, you know, a, a, just, a, a, just enough because the critical hit doesn't give him down that much. So then I go for the Recover. And here's where everything starts getting good, guys. I promise. So, Ridiculous Recover Leftovers gets him back up to where he needs to be. Goes for the Calm Mind. And then he goes for a Light Screen. I'm like, wow. Now I can't do damage even more. I go for a Calm Mind. I'm like, okay, might as well just wait this out. I'll bulk up my Special Defense. He's got the Houndoom, Alakazam, and uh, Gastrodon. I can block, like, three of his Pokemon. Very, very good. And, and even maybe the um, Bronzong, I block him very well too. He goes for another Gyro Ball, which kind of turns out to mistake because that's just another free Calm Mind for me to set up. And I'm like, okay, good. I'm, I'm at two Calm Minds right now, and I could not be happier because I got plus two special attack and plus two special offense against a pretty special attacky team. So, and I'm almost at full health too, and I'm, I'm doing really well. And the Reflect wears off, that's going to work out. Maybe if I have to bring out Flygon later. So now he switches out the Brogs. Let's see how useless that was. Bring back out the Bravery. He goes for the um, a U-turn again. But I go for another Calm Mind to put me at plus three on each stat. And I'm like, okay. I think I can take anything and I can kill anything. Because I got just enough special attack. And I'm at full health. So that made me really, really happy. But right now, I'm like, I can see my hope coming back. The Ray of Light is coming back into me. And I'm like, okay, I got this. I live the U-turn. He goes back to him, and he brings back out, I would believe, the um, uh, Bronzong again. He just wanted to let it die. Didn't really care about it that much. Uh, I couldn't do all that much anyway. So Bronzong goes down. So now uh, we, we got two Pokemon down to uh, uh, two Pokemon down on his side to four of mine. Sorry there. Just getting a little excited here because the battle starts getting good right around you know a few turns ago. So... Brings back out Bravery, goes for a Brave Bird because he wants to keep him in. Maybe instead of the U-turn, maybe he could get a kill, who knows? It's not super effective. I barely lived that with 26 health. I knew I couldn't do much um, to attack it, didn't want to risk killing it, so I had to recover. I gotta get back up to full before I can start attacking. I don't, And I got plenty of recovers. I'm sitting pretty good right now. So, I got the leftovers and recover. You always gotta go leftovers if you're gonna be playing like this. So, switches out again, bringing out the uh, Alakazam, thinking I might have gone for a um, any kind of attack. I, I really thought he was going to switch into Houndoom, so that's why I didn't Psychic or Shadow Ball, because I was worried about the Houndoom. So he withdraws again. Now, this time, I'm like, okay, he's switching the Houndoom. I didn't go for Psychic. I had full health, three um, Calm Minds up. I'm like, let's just Shadow Ball. It'll actually do something to the Houndoom. It actually kind of does. It does about almost half. He goes for the taunt thinking I might Calm Mind again or recover, but I don't. I go for the Shadow Ball, making the good plays. Ridiculous coming up huge right now. Hoping for any special defense drop. It's still not getting it, but we three shot the not very effective Houndoom. And even after three Calm Minds, that Dark Pulse still did a lot of damage. I was pretty shocked to see that. So we finally take out Houndoom, and I'm like, wow. We're, we're, we're kind of coming back. I can kind of see this. Okay, what's going to happen next? I don't know. Do, do you guys want to know? Because you got to keep watching this battle if you want that to happen. So Bravery comes right back out. Now he's like, okay, I got to get rid of this thing, man. He goes for another Brave Bird. And I'm like, okay, I know I can live this for a fact. I knew I could live. So I end up attacking the Bravery because it takes more recoil damage. Like, okay, let me just get this guy out of here. So Bravery... He goes down. He's out of here. So now we're back to a tie game. Alakazam Gastron versus Ridiculous Flygon. At this point, I'm like, Ridiculous, man, it is all you. You have been guiding this game since you came in. You can finish this up. He takes the Shadow Ball from the Alakazam, lives with five health. He 
holds on. Didn't need a focus ban or sash. He left lived with that much health. I go for a recover after a taunt wore off. I was so happy. I get up enough health. My special offense sadly goes down by one stage, but I still had plus two, so I was still really, really happy. So it goes for another Shadow Ball. Again, I knew I could live, so I go for another recover after this, and I'm going to get more health back after this and leftovers, but unfortunately, another special offense drop. It's like the game didn't want me to win at this point. I started coming back, and all the hacks just started piling up. But Reniculus just holding on. Nothing's happening to him, man. You can't do anything to him. He's such a bulky... Special tank, physical tank, whatever you want to call it, and he dishes out the damage, it's insane. Right after I knew I could take another attack, I was like, okay, Shadow Ball time. I really wish it didn't have a sash, and it didn't. I don't know what item it had, maybe specs, I would have to assume after all those Shadow Balls. But if it had specs, it could have been doing more damage. It is a really, really tough call. But we do one-shot Alakazam with the Shadow Ball, so Alakazam's out. Now, we're back in the lead. Gastrodon is all that's left. He can't do a lick of damage to the Ridiculous. And Ridiculous, uh, just to be safe, I recover again. I think that was my last recover at that point, or one of the two last ones. And then I get up to about enough where I need it. Uh, I knew he could really do much damage. He tried to maybe freeze me on this Ice Beam. Uh, really good that I didn't have to bring out Flygon this time because Ice Beam would have messed me up. The Psychic will 2-hit KO, almost 1-hit KO, which really shocked me because Gastrodon's can actually get really um, specially offensive too. So right now, here's where I just had it. I, I kind of knew. I was like, wow, I can't believe we came back. It was such an incredible battle. I got completely embarrassed from that Caracosta, and just the Ridiculous just came in and saved my butt. I could not believe it. I want to wish a very good game to my... Very good opponent, Bread Cheesy. We will battle again. You'll see more of this guy. I really hope we can battle again. Um, I really uh, also want to mention the question of the day. After watching this battle, what, which Pokemon is most underrated? Um, I've decided to do question of the days for 6v6 singles instead of Q&As. Because I can't really do Q&As on this kind of battle. I'll do that for live battles. So question of the day will be on 6v6 singles. And then Q&As will be on live battles. And I really hope you guys enjoy this battle. This is one of my favorite battles I've had in a long time. And can't believe we picked up the win. So I will end it there. You guys all at home, thank you very much for tuning in and watching this great battle. As always, good luck in all your next battles. And I'll see you.